What's up, everybody? Paul Hickey here. Welcome to the WordPress show. Right now, I'm going to show you how to put your WordPress website on Alexa and Google Assistant. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn your WordPress website into an Alexa skill and a Google action, which means we're voice activating your WordPress website today for Alexa and Google Assistant. Let's jump right into it. We are gonna use a plugin called the Voice Designer. So you're gonna go into the back end of your WordPress website and you are going to put in the keywords, the Voice Designer, and it'll show up as the first one. Click install now and then activate that bad boy. Now on the left-hand side, you'll see Voice Designer. You'll click it, and you're gonna fill out the app name, which should be basically the name of your website. It can really be whatever you want, but whatever you put there is gonna be what it's gonna be called on Alexa and Google Assistant. Now, so once you have your app name filled out, you're gonna put your invocation name. Now this is what your users will say to Alexa and Google Assistant to bring up your app. Then you choose your logo. You're gonna be like a 512 by 512 square logo. Then you're gonna double click the intro button and this is gonna be the welcome message, what Alexa and Google Assistant are gonna say when your app opens up. So you can type in whatever you want Alexa and Google Assistant to say. Now in this case, I'm literally just copying what the content is on the homepage of this WordPress site. The next thing you're gonna do is click the ask a question block. Now this is where you're gonna kind of build the main menu of your Alexa skill in Google Action. And so I'm gonna title it Menu. And I'm gonna put, would you like to learn more about our mission, our progress, because that's the content that we have in the next section, or our current needs. Now you can say, say mission, progress, or current needs. Uh, and then you're gonna to have to put in a reprompt. So I'm gonna copy and paste that, put it into my reprompt. Then under actions, I'm gonna have one as our mission. I'm gonna have one as our progress and I'm gonna have one as our needs. Now notice I have synonyms in here. Now synonyms are useful because if somebody says needs or current needs, it's still gonna take them to the next path. Now Alexa also requires that you add exit, stop, cancel, and help messages. So I've got those in here. Now you can see I'm ready to add either a basic response or another ask a question block to connect these nodes to one another to form the paths. So I'm gonna ask another question, and this is gonna be our mission. First, I'm gonna give the information about the mission. So I'm gonna just copy and paste the content from the mission. This is what Alexa and Google Assistant are gonna read. Then I chose a question because I wanna keep the experience going. So I'm gonna say, would you like to learn more about Recovery Cafe Lexington? Say yes or no. Reprompt, say yes or no, and then the actions are easy, yes or no. Now, if they choose yes, I'm gonna loop them back to the main menu so they can learn more. And if they choose no, what I'm gonna do is create a block that is just a basic response that basically ends the experience for them. I'm gonna call it thank you. I'm gonna say thank you for visiting Recovery Cafe Lexington with a little bit call to action. More information about how to support us can be found on our website and I'm gonna type in www.recoverycafelexington.org. Save that and then connect the no to that. Now I'm gonna use this as my model for each of the next content section. So I'm gonna keep putting in question blocks and do the same thing for progress. I'm gonna copy and paste basically not all of that information under our progress, but just enough of it so that somebody interacting with Alexa or Google Assistant will listen to it and then continue on in the experience. So. Uh, we're gonna see how this does. I'm gonna copy this and then kind of edit it a little bit within the speech block. So first I'm gonna put, would you like to learn more uh, as my question, say yes or no. And then of course the reprompt, say yes or no. Uh, the actions, yes. And another action, no. Click save. Do the same thing, connect progress. If they, want, if they say yes, I'm gonna loop them back around to the main menu. If they say no, I'm gonna put thank you. Now the last one are current needs, of course. Copy and paste this from the current needs section. And then do the reprompt, the 
question and the reprompt, would you like to learn more about Recovery Cafe Lexington? Say yes or no. Reprompt, say yes or no. Now the reprompt's required by Alexa and Google Assistant. That's why we have to have it in there. And you would get an error message in the voice designer if you don't have a reprompt in there. So now for exit, stop, cancel, um, we can connect them all to the same basic response block because they all basically do the same thing. Thank you, have a great day. Alexa wants you to basically let the person out of the experience as quickly as possible if they say exit, stop, or cancel. But for help, we actually have to put some information around what the skill does. So I'm gonna put, this is a basic informational skill. So I'm gonna put this voice app provides basic information about Recovery Cafe Lexington. To learn more about us, follow the prompts. I'm gonna say, say yes to follow the prompts. To exit, say no. And then of course the reprompt can be say yes or no. I'll change it to say continue, that makes more sense. Say continue or exit. Continue, exit as my actions, and then connect the actions or nodes and paths to continue back to the menu, exit. And now, uh, once you save that, you'll get a completed message. Now, if you leave any nodes unconnected, you're gonna get an error message that says that they have to be connected to a question or a basic response. But once you have completed connecting all of the nodes together similar to this, it'll say your app is ready uh, to test, just say ask voice designer to run Recovery Cafe Lexington. So let's hear what that sounds like now. Alexa, open voice designer. What indication do you want to test? Recovery Cafe Lexington. Welcome to Recovery Cafe Lexington, a compassionate recovery community. Would you like to learn more about our mission? our progress, or our current needs. Say mission, progress, or current needs. Mission? We provide a safe community space with a resource-rich environment that invites those in Greater Lexington to cultivate their recovery, improve their quality of life, and prosper through growth and healing. Recovery Cafe Lexington is a recovery-oriented system of care and supports all pathways of recovery. Would you like to learn more about Recovery Cafe Lexington? Say yes or no. No. Thank you for visiting Recovery Cafe Lexington. More information about how to support us can be found on our website at www.recoverycafelexington. Okay, so that's great, right? Now, if you want to make this go live on Alexa and Google Assistant, now this one actually is live, you need to purchase a license key. So you could actually say Alexa launch Recovery Cafe Lexington right now and you would get the experience, the live experience. That's because they bought a single site license for $199. Uh, if you're part of an agency, I would highly encourage you to get an unlimited license uh, for $500 a year, $499 a year uh, at thevoicedesigner.com. And then you basically voice activate your WordPress website for Alexa and Google Assistant. I'm Paul Hickey. Thank you for watching the WordPress show. To do business with me, email me directly at paul at datadriven.design. For more free WordPress tips, go to the wordpressshow.com or datadriven.design. Thanks and have a great day.